I have not done this in a little while, but I have a lot of exciting updates. I just moved to Austin, so here I am at the state capitol here in Texas, which is where I was born and raised. I lived in DC for the last two years. I just moved back to the homeland. I have a very exciting new chapter of life that has begun. I moved here it's June now, I moved here in May, so took some time off to get my life together and to move down here. I am excited for what is coming. Yeah, that's the little life update. There's the trapital. <laughs> vlog. I know I ended yesterday's vlog pretty abruptly. The main content of this vlog is going to be the fact that today is Bobby Day, which basically means that I am getting a kitten, a little ragdoll kitten. His name right now is Bobby. That's spelled B-O-B-B-I, which is very important because I really like that name. I really like that spelling. I had like a weird obsession with the name Bob when I was like in middle school. So it's, it's perfect. If his personality when I meet him this afternoon ends up being Bobby, then I'm going to keep that name. I am gonna make an Instagram account for him, so I'll tag that, you guys should follow. We're gonna make uh, baby Bobby famous. So I told myself that when I moved to Texas, then I would get a cat. And so my family has two rag dolls, and I was gonna bring the younger one, Lucia, to live here with me, but it's just not really fair to take either one of them away from their home with my parents because they see people every single day. My parents are retired. There's a dog, like they have friends there with them all the time. I decided I'm just gonna get my own cat and I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to meet him and I hope he ends up being cuddly. Apparently male cats are supposed to be a little bit more affectionate, especially towards women than female cats and I've only ever had female cats. We're gonna train Bobby to love me basically is what I'm saying but I am gonna spend a little bit of this morning uh, going to go run a couple of errands. I think that I have almost everything for him. He is 12 weeks old tomorrow, so that's why I'm picking him up today. I have a whole bunch of stuff down here. All set up, um, well not really set up, it's all just kind of been put into this corner, shoved into this corner while I have been waiting for Bobby. So I've been ordering this over the last like two months maybe, month and a half. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have everything, but I'm gonna sort through all the stuff right now. I'm gonna set up his kitty litter here um, either now or when I get back from running some errands. Ragdoll cats can be pretty big. They can grow to be at least 20 pounds, which for a cat is huge. I think he's gonna probably get pretty large. For some reason, all of the pets in our family just end up being huge, so that's like a thing, I guess. Let's unpack some of this stuff and get it all set up for Bobby. I might just show you some of the things that I picked up for him. Honestly, a lot of this I just ordered online based on the guidance that the lady sent me um, and other random things that the internet web told me were good to get. I got this scratching post from Amazon. I've also been told that I should get a scratching mat. I didn't know that that was a thing, so I might figure out what that might look like if he doesn't use this thing. Got some just pet cleaner. I got cat shampoo. We do give our cats baths, so, you know, I know they clean themselves, but sometimes they need the extra assistance. I got these from Amazon as well. They're little fuzzy tail catnip toys. I'm not gonna open it right now, but they got really, really, really good reviews and they were like $7 or something. This is his carrier. I got a bigger size. I think this was maybe 20 or $30 from Amazon. Also had really good reviews. I have not opened it yet, so let's do that. It's one of those collapsible ones, so give me a second while I figure, oh, this is actually like really big. I mean, I got the bigger size knowing that he would grow a lot, but this is pretty huge. So it comes with a little fuzzy part on the bottom for them to sit on. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all put together. As you can see, it is pretty large. 
It is for pets that are between like 20 to 30 pounds maybe is what it said. I don't fully remember because I ordered this a while ago, but I really like the green color. Then I got kitty litter. Litter box. I did get a really, really big one because like I said, he is going to be very large. These treats from Amazon as well. They also had really good ratings. I got a cat litter mat. I've not opened this, but it's also green, so it'll go under the litter box. I actually don't know if it's gonna be big enough for this litter box, but we will figure that out later. I was at Trader Joe's the other day, because I love that place, and they had these little kitty treats. I really love Trader Joe's. I trust Trader Joe's, so hopefully he likes these. I got a couple of things of canned cat food. I know that there's always like a debate between wet food versus dry food. I've been doing research on that. He currently eats a mix of both. We're going to see if I can transition him to dry food and get one of those containers that like times the food drop, if that makes sense. I got him these ceramic bowls from Target. They're also the pretty like sage green color. I got pet waste sacks, baking soda, also to mix into the litter, some wipes. I got this like laser pointer thing, which, woo, <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Cats love laser pointers, that's like a fact. And this one I think has different shapes and stuff, I just haven't figured out how to do the different shapes. Oh, that's cool, okay. Woo. I got a little medicine dispenser. People on the internet web suggested getting one of these and training him from an early age to be okay with taking stuff from a little syringe like this in case he gets sick later and that's the only way I can give him medicine so you can put like pumpkin or like other types of like soft foods in here and kind of like get them used to that as a treat so when the time comes to actually take medicine if ever needed then they're used to that. I got him a little brush so I'll probably have to upgrade to a bigger brush later. A pet comb as well. I guess I actually got multiple wipes so just in case he comes here and has an accident or smells disgusting cat nail trimmers. I'm not excited to use these. That's going to be an adventure. A scoop thing for the litter. This is something I'm very excited to give him. It is a self-warming pet mat. I can't talk. It is a self-warming pet mat. I had to look at that so I didn't butcher the name again. But essentially, like all the, it had like five-star reviews on Amazon. It's such a simple little bed. Because honestly, every bed that we've ever got for our cats, they never touched it. So I was like, do I want to spend $50 on that? Not really. The animal lays on it. It reflects their body heat back onto them. And so it keeps them warm, dry kitten food. So we will see if he likes it. Let's go to the grocery store and grab a couple other items. I am headed to Target to go get a couple of things for Bobby and also just a couple of other things that I need right now. Outfit of the day really quick. Kalulu lemon belt bag, of course. A set from Abercrombie. Ugh, my Air Force Ones. And then my scrunchie. Back here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Actually matches the shirt or the tank top thing because I got that from Abercrombie too. So anyways, let's go run errands. Well, I got way more than I was supposed to. So I just got back from Target and I got a little more than I intended to. This, I saw it and it's green and I wanted something that like had like stuff like this on the bottom or like a little feather toy, but they didn't have feather toys or one that I, I liked. So I got him this and I'm gonna put it in his little carrier. I did get the liners. So I'm gonna set up the litter box here in a minute cause now it is 12.20. So I'm gonna get all this stuff um, put away, clean up a little bit, and do his litter box before I leave here soon because I'm going to leave in like an hour to go pick him up, so I'm so excited. It is officially Bobby time. I am going to go drive to get him, and I have his little um, carrier ready. It's got some stuff inside, some toys for him, including the one that I just got from Target, so um, I'm so excited to meet him. Come with me. Hi, Bobby. 
Hi, Bobby. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're home. We're home. Are you so excited? He's sleepy. He was so good. He slept like almost the whole time back. He mew mewed a little bit, but. Hi, Bobby. Let's go. Let's be ready. Oh, let's go inside. We just arrived home. Hi, Bobby. All your stuff is set up in here. Let's, let's go see your new house. Oh, hi, Bobby. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, he's so tiny. Bobby. Hi. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't very good because he was inside the kennel or the little carrier. I said, I filmed him. Oh, hi. Hi, Bobby. I filmed him when I picked him up. Bobby! Oh, now he wants to go through the other door. <laughs> he is so smart. He's like, what is over here? Oh, what is this? This is my vlog camera, Bobby. Yeah. Apparently they have a Spotify playlist that they would play for the kittens when it was time to go to bed and they actually like, they conditioned them to know that that was their bedtime playlist. I'm FaceTiming my John. Hey. Oh, the camera doesn't focus enough. They <laughs> don't focus fast enough for him. Oh, he step on you. Bobby! Say hi. Say hi, vlog. <laughs> hi, Bobby. Here, I want to pick him up for the camera. Hi. Say hi. Say hi, Bobby. Oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Bobby. He, he smells so good. Bobby found my bed, but mostly he found my blanket, and he loves it. He just took a little nap. And then I went to get my camera and I accidentally woke him up. <laughs> Bobby found a spot on my bed that he likes. This in the big fuzzy blanket. Good night, Bobby. Say good night, vlog. You're so perfect. So I brought Bobby home and he is taking a nap right now. He's explored a couple of different rooms, um, the bathroom, the closet, and my bedroom. That's probably all we're gonna do for today. Those three are connected to his litter box. So that is the most important thing right now is just getting him to go to the bathroom and to eat food here soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog, but stay tuned for more Bobby journeys as he grows up. I'm very excited to create more content with him and to watch him grow and to take care of him and watch his personality develop as well. I think that's a very exciting part about getting a pet and I'm very, very excited for this adventure with my Bobby. So as always, thank you for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe all the YouTube things. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.